Hi, I'm Valerie Mondujano. I'm on Innova Star Team. I'm actually from Chicago, Illinois. Not a lot of people know that, but I do live in San Antonio, Texas. And I'm excited to take you guys through my bag. This is what I'm putting with right now. This is my Tour Series AVR. I chose the Galactic AVR for my Tour Series disc. I love the swirls. I couldn't have asked for a better putter alone, but the swirls just highlight it out. Thank you guys for buying my Tour Series AVRs. You know, I'm glad you guys are liking them as much as I am. You know, it's allowing me to stay on tour and I can't thank you guys enough. Now we are going to move on to the throwing putters. I carry three throwing putters. My favorite, I think, disc alone is the Nova. Shout out to my brother. He gave me this for my 22nd birthday. So the Nova for me was one of the most challenging discs to throw. And I think that's why I like it so much is because I always pushed myself to throw it. It's very touchy. But when you do throw it on a straight line, it's going to stay. Or a little bit of hyzer, it's going to hold Anheuser. It's a very trusting disc. And moving forward, another shout out is to Paul McBeth. He gave me this when I went to go visit him at Virginia. The P2 is glidey, but stable for me. I know if it's a little more wind out there, I'll just throw the P2 instead of the Nova. The P2 will go straight to stable for me, so I can trust it in those headwinds. Moving on to the AVR X3. The AVR X3 was simply just dumped for me. So I love it on my forehand approaches. I can just throw it high and know that it's just gonna fade right and dump. My favorite disc is the Nova, the XT Nova. And I know I talk a lot about this, but again, it just helps me so much with the form correction and um, committing to my lines because when the, where's that little headwind coming out to you, you have to commit on that Nova. Moving on to the mid ranges. I bag a Coyote. Now some of you might be surprised and you're like, why don't you throw a Mako 3? I find that the Coyote is a little more consistent for myself. Um, a shout out to my boyfriend, Mason Ford. This is his logo right here. He got me this one. The Coyote is my straight to understable disc or my hyzer flips. Can't say enough about it. I just, I love it. Now my Rock 3 is more my straighter to stable mid range. Don't really throw it in wood shots. I, that's when I throw the Coyote more, but I do love to throw power into this one and I know it's not going to fade right. Moving on to a Star Crow. More stable than the Rock 3. When I actually played the DDO this year, we had some gnarly wins, so I pulled this out and I knew I could trust it. Got me some good fairway hits. Moving on to a Champion Gator. This Champion Gator is flat. Very overstable, maybe one of the most overstable gators I have thrown. Um, I mainly use this one right now for forehands. So when my AVR is not enough, I pull out this. I think for me, it pushes me personally. Um, it gets to see how I react to pressure. It shows me the type of person I am. You know, um, we all talk about like, there's two versions of yourself on and off the course. I like to see where I'm at on the course because I feel like off the course, I work so much to be well-rounded on the course. So for me, you know, competition shows me how to be, I guess, a better person. And I also love the drive that, you know, I wake up in the morning and not knowing I'm the best. And for me, that's the goal that it has brought to me is I want to be the best version of myself. Moving on to the fairways. I carry a Star Leopard. The Star Leopard, I normally throw it around those 270s, maybe 300 holes. That's kind of pushing it, but I know I won't pass the basket if I have that OB, you know, 10 feet behind the basket. Moving on to the JLS. The JLS is a little bit more stable than the Leopard. When I feel like the Leopard's just a little too understable that day, I'll pull out the JLS. I carry two TO3s, but we'll start off with my favorite, my boyfriend Mason Ford Tour Series disc. It's star and it's my flippy TO3. I'll throw it flat and know it's just gonna fade right. I'm not gonna have to force it over. I know if I just throw this flat and clean, it's just gonna have this nice ante to it. Champion TO3, throw it flat. You know, it's just going to go dead straight with a little bit of fade to the left. Tiber 3, halo. Tiber 3, I use it mainly more for forehands. Snap it flat, it's just gonna go right. It's not gonna have any Fade, it's more of a disc that's just gonna die pretty softly. Backhands, I throw it more on that softer flat line and know it's just going to 
just have a nice finish to it to the left. I know it's not going to skip or do anything too crazy with it. For me, sometimes it's just about how pretty the disc is and I feel like the halo complements the plastic very nice. I carry a Star Roadrunner. Now this Roadrunner is pretty understable. I throw it flat and it's just automatically going to go right. I normally hyzer flip the Roadrunner. Um, I know if I put a little bit of hyzer, it's just gonna stand up, go straight, and just finish slightly left. Moving on to my Metal Flake Thunderbird. Now this one's kind of a funny story. This was my mom's, as you can see, Katie Mondejano. Um, I lost my Thunderbird and I kind of just pulled it out of her bag and I was like, hey, do you mind if I try this one day? I knew what I was going to do. I'm guilty on that and she gave it to me. So thank you, mom. Shout out to you. If you don't have one in your bag, I don't know what you're doing. I personally love the Thunderbird. I can throw it in a headwind and I know it's gonna go straight in those dead headwinds. I mainly, again, use it for forehands. When I want something a little bit more than my T-Bird, if I want that faster skip or that faster left, I'll just pull this Thunderbird out. Some of the strengths that I have in my game are, I'd have to say a hyzer flip. Um, a hyzer flip I feel like works so many advantages for me. Just, you know, those tight wooded shots, throw it out in a hyzer, let it flip up and come back, or even distance shots. I don't have much, so wherever I can, you know, work distance into my game, I will. And I feel like a hyzer flip helps me, you know, get that extra bit of distance so I can throw my champion Mamba out on a hyzer and let it flip up, stall, and then come back. These are my control drivers, utility disc. I don't really throw this one too often, so I'm going to pronounce it a couple of different ways and you guys tell me how you guys say it. Sabot, Sable, Sabot. Let me know in the comments on how you guys would say it. This disc I use for forehand rollers, skip shots, forehand skip shots, um, you kind of name it, or those spike hyzers. You know, I don't throw them that often, but when I do, I'll throw this. Moving on to the Draco. The Draco, I will throw more in those 250, you know, left shots. That's all you want is just to go left. This is the disc I'm pulling out. Or I'll use it again with those two, 250 kind of type forehand shots. When it holds a little much for my Gator, I'll pull out the Draco. Or when there's a little more wind than I'm expecting and I don't really know what it's doing out there, again, I'll pull out the Draco for my forehands. My favorite course has to be Blue Ribbon Pines in Minnesota. It was my first Junior Worlds, and there was so many shots that I can't even tell you that you need there. Right now, I'm carrying five distance drivers. I'm carrying a Champion Mamba. It's pretty understable, and for me, the only way to throw it personally with distance is hyzer flips. I'm a huge fan of hyzer flips. Shout out to my brother for teaching me that. Um, or when I want those big annies, throw it flat, and I know it's just gonna carry. Now moving on to the Falcon. The Falcon is a disc that I can get distance, but it's kind of something more. I throw in a wider open field than more Delaws, tighter fairways. Now moving on to a bit of my Halo line, Halo Strike. Now this disc right here is probably my main distance driver. It's gonna turn just a little bit, but also fade back to the left or if I want to get some skip, but that hyzer, I'll just throw in a little bit of hyzer and we'll just carry on and get that big skip at the end. Moving on to my Halo Wraith. My Halo Wraith, I throw it more for forehands, distant forehand shots. I'll put a little ante on it and I know it's going to follow back, or if I put a lot of snap into it, it's gonna go straight, but also have that little bit of fade to the right. Moving on to those beef cakes. This is my destroyer, my Halo destroyer. It's super stable, and I know if there's a headwind that I'm hesitant on throwing my Wraith for a forehand or that backhand hyzer, I'll throw my Halo Destroyer. And I know that there's no way that this thing is flipping over. So I am carrying my custom-made pound bag. This pound bag is the Optothorpe. I'm a huge fan of olive green at the moment, and this just stands out for me. Um, also in these pockets, I carry a Bushnell range finder, birdie bag, yeah, water bottle holders. And also is a shout out to Alexis. She gave me this when I first joined Innova. These are the team wings. So you know if you have this stamp, then you're on the team, it's official. It means a lot to me because this was her favorite mini. I also have her name in the back. And I know it was kind of her way of saying, hey, you know, you came to the team, you made it with me. And so it means very much to me. Moving on to my Millennium Mini. 
kind of the same story, different person. My boyfriend gave me this when I joined Team Millennium. Um, this is actually one of the coyotes he gave me. This is a sticker for it. And it meant a lot to me because it was a very special disc. So I went ahead and I grabbed the sticker and I added it. What I love most about disc golf, and again, this is something I do talk about a lot, is my family's able to play with me. I played sports growing up, you know, soccer, you know, baseball, a little bit of baseball, but my parents got to cheer for me on the outlines. They never were there competing with me, obviously. Now playing disc golf, we're able to compete as a family. We're able to, you know, push each other as a family. We're, I'm able to help my parents, you know, learn from their mistakes on the course, you know, just all of that just brings us closer. Disc golf, you know, introduced me to my boyfriend. Disc golf introduced me to a lot of my friends I have now. Disc golf represents for me as family. It has given me a tighter relationship with my family friends. Also, I want to thank Innova. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. Thank you to Millennium Golf Disc, Pound, my sponsors. I wouldn't be able to chase my dream if it wasn't for you guys, so thank you guys a lot. And I also want to thank my family for all their love and support, you know, for always pushing me when I feel like there's something I can't reach. They make it very clear I can. Um, thank you to my boyfriend for also helping me. I want to thank Alexis, my sister, for always constantly pushing me. And I want to thank all my family back home that supported me and watching me. Thank you guys. That about wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my In The Bag. And I will be touring with these too. Wish me luck. No, I love them both. So thank you guys for watching again. Thank you for all your love and support.